Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are on Elden Ring, and I'm going to be showing you my build here. Now, I call this the Sacred Smack build. So I've seen builds where people use the Starter Club, they give it some holy damage. Well, we're going to be doing an upgraded version of that build. So the basis here, we have the Spiked Club. So essentially, the normal club deals straight physical, this club deals physical with a passive blood loss buildup of 50. So it's just a slightly better version of the club. Damage wise, it's slightly better um, for physical if I left it on all physical. But I now have imbued these both with Sacred Slash or Holy Slash, uh, which is the Ash of War, which gives these holy damage. So. This is what we're doing here. We deal physical, we deal holy, and we deal blood loss to enemies. So looking at this, just normal current damage, I have 628 in my right and 610 in my left. That's because my right is plus 25, my left is only plus 24. But if I do this and I use my ability here, you can see it starts glowing. And then you can see now the damage in the left armament has gone up to 700. So we'll do this with the other one here. So now both of them. I've got 718 and 700 here. But to add this even better, we'll add Flame Grant Me Strength to get a little bit more physical. And Golden Vow to get some more holy damage. And now... Let's uh, do this again here, where we get holy on our weapons. And we're now looking at 888 and 866 damage. Now, that's a decent amount of damage, but you also have to account for the fact that it still is decent for poise break. And on top of that, it has blood loss buildup. Now, I'm currently level 127. Everything that I have equipped currently is base game. I am in the DLC. I've actually, I can show you here. I killed Rolana fairly easily, um, which is the second, like, rune holder, I believe, in uh, the DLC here. So, this build holds up pretty well. You just have to make sure that you're getting those buffs and if possible to proc that blood loss. Now this especially goes well with a mimic tier. Where's my mimic tier? Because then you have double the people dealing blood loss. So that works even better. Now just to show you what equipment I have on, I'm just kind of wearing the heaviest best armors that I have. Um, an option for the helmet, I do not have this because I missed this in the quest, but uh, Vars white mask to increase blood loss or damage when blood loss is in the vicinity so when you proc your bleed it'll then get even stronger now in terms of uh talismans i'm using radagon sword seal to boost my stats by five each or roughly about that uh crimson amber medallion plus two to give myself an extra 120 health uh this one i tend to switch between these depending on what type of damage the boss deals that I'm fighting and the last one Erd Tree's favor to get a little bit more equipment or equip load stamina and maximum HP so these are what I'm using here now if you don't know where to get the plus one variant of the Erd Tree's favor it's going to be down beneath here uh, down near the underground railroad in the subterranean shunning grounds forsaken deaths I believe is the place you're going to fight Moog the Almond King, and that's where you're going to get it in a chest that's in that room. Now it's a bit of a maze there. I know there's some videos that'll show you how to get that. That's how you get that one. And then the other one, the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus Two. That one is actually pretty easy, and it just happens to be right here. So once you defeat Malak at the Black Blade, you're just going to come to the Lanedale Capital of Ash, which is where it's pretty much going to spawn you. And right here, there's a hole. You're going to want to come over here and look down. You want to fall onto this platform. Make sure not to miss it. I almost missed it. Fall here. And then you can see 
there's a little teeny tiny bar here you're going to want to fall onto. And this corpse right behind me, this is where you're going to get it, right there. That's where you're going to get that. Now, these are just the ones that I use. I'm sure other people are going to have others. If you want to go for straight damage, um, you've got a few other things, such as this one, which will increase holy attack. So let's see what our stats are looking like if we put that on here. Let's drink one of these. We'll uh, activate our enchantments here. There we go. And now we're looking at 950 and 927, just because I switched this here, which raises holy attack but lowers damage negation. So there's little things that you can throw on. Um, I mean, if you add this, it'll increase it a little bit. If you want final hit of chain attacks, there's one for jump attacks that you can throw on. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can put on. Raise attack power when HP is maximum. If you're looking for more damage, but this is just the build that I have here. Just kind of a well-rounded. And then stats-wise, you can see I have a good amount of health. My damage, since it's split between strength and faith, I should have put more points into faith. That's what I'm building currently. I'd started off as a strength, which is why I have up to 45. But then I'm going up with faith. So with this build, it's a lot of faith. You do, you're end up doing more holy than you will physical. So I would actually recommend at least evening, evening it out, if not having more faith than strength. But those are the two you want to focus for damage. You want a good amount of health and endurance. Um, I have a little bit of mind just so that I can use my uh, my spells. But since you're also using hate, uh, faith, you've got access to some of the incantations. I could also, if I feel like it, use, you know, Xe's Breath for Rot Damage, a few other incantations like that. But these are the main ones I use because I like what I call the Sacred Smack. So, let's see here. Got an Almond down beneath me. Just for kicks. Let's see how this works. So now, when using this build... You always like to get, if you're going to be fighting anything difficult, you want to get your buffs here. And you always want to start by dual wielding your offhand one. We'll go fight this almond over here. And you're going to want to use this ability here because it deals a decent amount of damage and then gives the buff. You can see he takes a good amount of damage from that. We take good damage too, though, because we have the things boosting the damage taken. But if you can't get to him, you always have more of these sacred slashes here. It's part of why I like having a lot of uh, FP. But so you deal good damage. I mean, I'm hitting for about 1,200. You can see, yeah, this is not even with everything on. This is hidden for 887. So, deals a pretty good amount of damage, and then with things that have a lot of health, you've got the bleed proc as well. Uh, this gets you through a lot. Now, if you have a boss that has holy resistance, you still have the physical and the bleed to get you through it. Uh, may not work quite as well, but it can still do that. So, this is my sacred smack build. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you have any other crazy builds you want to see me try, let me know. I'm happy to try dumb things. I'm thinking about making a cannon build to see how far I can get using um, one of the cannon bows. Well, I guess not considered bow. Ballista cannon things that are here because I know there's now two of them in game. So if you, you want to see that, let me know and I'll see if I can get that for you guys. But please like and subscribe. The more support I get from this video, the more uh, videos on Elden Ring I will keep making. So please watch, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.